welcome to the channel. This is good old Double Bits Workshop. If you haven't been here before, thank you for stopping on by. In today's video, we're going to be going through and making a uh, little bit of a change up here. We're making some, uh, you could say, kind of a scenic piece. Um, I got commissioned by my boss's boss to go through and cut two pieces of lumber and make a mountain scene for the other one. He's actually going to go through and stain himself the... Uh, pieces of wood that I give him, but this is going to be for a ski rack. So I don't have any of the hardware or anything for it, I'm just going to be doing the uh, backdrop part or portion for him as well. So hopefully he'll enjoy it. But what we're going to be going through today and doing is, is I already went through and made a preliminary sketch of uh, scenery or a mountain top. We're going to go through on the bandsaw and make a few cuts. They're not going to get too articulated or too close to the mountain parts, but we're going to get close enough that I can go through on the drill press using a burr attachment. Uh, it's just a little rasp, essentially. Uh, it kind of looks like a little mace. A whole bunch of little raised or portions on here to be able to go through and kind of hog down the material in between to create all the mountain tops and vistas. Then we're going to go through with my Dremel and a little sanding bit and kind of refine it a bit and give it a little bit more character and flair. Uh, get it nicely sanded down smooth so if there's any little splinters or anything along the way that are generated, we're able to get that all cleaned up. And hopefully you enjoy. So we'll get on to it. So I got a pretty good general outline going on here. I'd gone through, as you saw, with a little burr tip here on the drill press, and I got most of the sculpting down. Uh, there's a few things that I did for, uh, you can call it artistic principle, or just going with the flow and seeing how the wood kind of speaks to you a bit to how it should look for a silhouette. So ignoring the lines, it actually is starting to look pretty good. If you're a native to Colorado or anywhere with good mountainous ranges, uh, especially early morning, this is a lot of what you see in the distance as you're driving on the highways. I'm uh, blessed a bit to have a good route that every morning I get to see gorgeous uh, sunrises with just this as my silhouette and my uh, template to go driving at. So I like looking at them a lot. So it was a, a perfect commission, you could say. I was really happy to be able to start working on it. But anyway, this is where we're at. I'm going to go through and turn kind of this uh, basic looking silhouette into a little bit more uh, characterized, a little less rigid and 90 degrees, and actually give it a little bit more character and a little bit more flow, a little more life, if you will. So that's what we're gonna do next is start going at it with the Dremel tool.
you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I sure did. And like I said earlier, I'm very happy to be able to put down a good silhouette. Something I get to see every day. Didn't actually think about putting it in a project right away, but I'm happy the commission ended up lining up perfectly for that. So thank you very much. This will actually go out to Tom. And uh, thank you, Tom, for the commission. Hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, if you enjoyed the video as well for the audience, please make sure and hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Helps me out greatly if you subscribe and like. Leave a comment below if you will as well if you enjoyed the video. And uh, thank you very much and have yourself a good one.